I want to dis- discuss the sun and sunscreen, which I know is controversial. No, it's not. Dermatologists and skincare experts all know we should be wearing sunscreen. Only influencers think that settled science is controversial. I don't wear sunscreen, and anytime I do an interview, I get a lot of shit when I admit that I don't. Maybe because you have 5 million Instagram followers and you're spouting pseudoscience bullshit. It's <laughs> a very controversial topic, which is so funny because it's the sun. Like, I we've know. literally spent our whole existence as humans under the sun all day. Why is Ryan Monahan, a functional medicine practitioner with a degree from an acupuncture school, offering skincare advice? Who the fuck knows? But how many times do we need to see this exact playbook pinned right to his Instagram? As for this, we spent our whole existence out in the sun, which he doubled down on in a recent blog post. We also used to die from getting a scratch, usually by age 30. The ignorant romanticizing of who we used to be does not reflect who we are now and all we've learned in the last 100,000 years. The sun is life-giving and nourishing. However, we are living quite an inflammatory lifestyle. I'm getting dumber listening to this fucking video. He goes on to claim that if our internal biology is incorrect, if we're too inflamed, then the sun can hurt us. It's pure Course in Miracles, the secret bullshit. Analogies aren't science because sometimes science is counterintuitive. Sometimes sitting under a nuclear ball of plasma is pretty bad for us. I mean, does he really think that our ancestors didn't run for shade as often as possible? So when you're internally inflamed, the sun can kind of aggregate that and you don't have oh. that antioxidants. Oh, what the fuck? I wonder what's next. Next. If you live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, you take a lot of antioxidant supplementation. Knew that was coming. And you work up your base coat in the sun, you can start to tolerate the sun instead of burning, right? Base coat? Are we flipping a house here? Monaghan then recommends spending more time in the sun each day to <laughs> get a base coat. And then he goes on to pitch more supplements. Here's the thing, because we see it all the time. If someone were to follow his advice about a base coat and then get melanoma, you know he's not gonna take responsibility for that. He'll just fall back on, oh, your insides are still inflamed. Sorry, you're bad. Yeah. And coconut oil too, right? Can you use that as sunscreen? Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. I I've suppose heard you can. That. No, no, you can't. Simple answer. An SPF of four, not gonna cut it. I grew up down the Jersey Shore in the 80s. I wouldn't recommend it. I see what my parents' generation is going through right now with their skin. This is a list of what Monaghan claims to treat on his website. Besides some of them being absolute bullshit like detoxification, actual experts spend their entire careers working on one of these, sometimes one subset of one of these. As fucked up as our medical system in America is with all the referrals and the co-pays, I'd rather work with someone who knows exactly what they're talking about. You can't possibly have deep knowledge of a medical condition if you claim to treat dozens of them. And any doctor okay with red skin should raise a serious red flag.